Up. The release of the regulator's report has been delayed by the expiry of the Communications Authority of Kenya Chairman Ben Getuku, three years term in office last month, and the fact that no replacement has been found. We keep our antennas up on that particular story, and we shall be updating you when we get more details. Well, moving on, in a move expected to disrupt the retail pharmacy business, Neotech Kenya has launched a mobile app that will empower Kenyans to buy medicine and personal care items via a mobile app. Well, the app called Olivia is available on the Google Play Store and Apple Store. It will allow users to get the best possible price on medicine and personal care items from a wide selection of chemists that have been onboarded on the app. Speaking during the launch, Dr. Samir Muravij, the chief executive officer of Neotech, notes that Livia is one of the retail pharmacy industry what Uber is to the taxi industry. Neotech will be banking on signing up reputable chemists in Nairobi and Mombasa for the model to work. Partners will receive an instant alert when a customer makes an order for medicine or personal care items via the app and are invited to submit quotations. Chemists that offer the most competitive price are then linked with the customers. Chemists near them, hence providing accessibility to necessary drugs, to essential drugs, at the right price. And we are also providing for traceability because when a prescription is captured on the Livia platform, it can always be traced back to where the prescription came from and who consumed the prescription and who dispensed the prescription. The Minister of Health leverages on ICT to enhance service delivery as envisioned in the e-health strategy 2011 to 2017. The vision of this strategy is to is develop efficient accessible, equitable, secure, and consumer-friendly healthcare services enabled by ICT. Well, we want to delve deeper now to understand how this app works and have they been able to sign up any chemists so far? And we are now joined by the gentleman there, that is Dr. Samir Muravij. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Abbe. Of course, uh, many people would like to know what drove you into this line of business in the first place? Well, um, we've been running a pharmaceutical business for the past 10 years. Yeah. Starting with a company called Pharmachem that was incorporated in 2005. And so basically, pharmaceutical business has been in the family for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And uh, the natural progression was obviously to try and see how we could leverage on technology yeah. to increase sales and to make uh, access more easy to the patients mm. and at affordable price as well. All right. I like the fact that you've brought out using technology to leverage. And um, this is the new norm. Like you said, that uh, your app is the Uber for the medical industry. Perhaps um, so far, talk to us about the reception in the market. How has it been? We launched the app about six to seven weeks ago in Mombasa. There was a pilot to understand the market, to improve on the features, and to update the app. I would say the response has been fantastic, uh, more so because it's, uh, it's a new exciting technology. You know, the prices of medicines can vary from one location to the other. Sure. So patients feel that now with the app, they can get almost standardized prices wherever they are. Mm -hmm. And that leads to savings, monthly savings. A person who's probably on, a chronic, uh, on medicines for chronic illnesses like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, hypertension, mm -hmm. if our app can help them save one or 2,000 shillings a month in a year, that's a significant saving. All right. And if you're a sole income uh, earner for that family and you're supporting your grandparents, then imagine for every single person, if you're saving 24,000 shillings a year, that's enough uh, savings to get a holiday. Uh -huh. I like that. And um, looking at uh, the medical sector, there's been a lot of developments. We did see one of the uh, mobile apps, that is MTBA, scooping an award by IFC and the Financial Times. What does this signify of applications that Kenya is churning out for the consumer market? 
Well, I think uh, Kenya is coming of age, I must say. And uh, Kenyans are known for, in for innovation. And we want to be the leaders when it comes to introducing technology to solve a current issue. Mm -hmm. So I would say that uh, as time progresses, I believe there will be more innovations coming out of Kenya. And the best we can do as uh, Kenyans is to support our innovations and get our apps out there to the okay. world. All right. Get our apps out there. And um, looking at this particular app that uh, you have come up with, talk to us about um, in terms of the features it has. And I'm sure you'll be able to demonstrate with the, uh, this for us using your phone, perhaps. Um, what are the unique elements that went into the thinking around it? Because someone seated at their home and they want to do their, uh, make an order, say, or uh, they've just left uh, the hospital, they've been given their prescription, but um, maybe you are still ailing or it's raining and you can't make it to the nearest pharmacy. How does this link this customer? Okay, so basically, Livia app that is available on the Google Play Store has got two components. You have a component for the user, so the user app, and you've got a component for the chemists mm -hmm. called the Livia for Chemists app. And how you would use this app, like you've correctly said, you've just left a doctor, you're very sick, you probably don't feel up to it to walk up to a chemist sure. to try and see what chemist has got all the items mm -hmm. uh, at a good price. So what you would do is you would open the Livia app, place your order through the app, either by taking a photo of the prescription that the doctor has written for you, mm -hmm. or, if you or if it's a refill medicine, then you would order it through the app directly. And that order would then be sent to a number of chemists who are within your location. And these are chemists who have previously signed up to become Livia partner chemists, who we call LPCs. So there would be a number of LPCs around you. And what Livia app would do is it would allow the LPCs to put in their quotation for your prescription. Remember, medicines is, it's more about service. Sure. Not so much about pricing. Yes, pricing is an issue, definitely. Mm -hmm. But it's about service as well. And when you're very sick, you want all your medicines from one place immediately at a good price. Mm -hmm. So that is the problem Livia app is solving. It's getting you all the medicines from a place delivered to you. Do I get to save a, an extra coin out of this? Um, actually, I'll give you an example yeah. without mentioning names. Uh -huh. Last week, we processed the biggest order since we launched Livia app worth 18,872 shillings. That particular order comprised of monthly medication. There were some, there were some diabetes medicines, some hypertension medicines, and uh, cholesterol controlling medicines. So this patient ended up saving 6,000 shillings on her normal monthly bill by using the Livia app. Mm -hmm. That is for one month. Uh -huh. So for a whole year, this lady would end up saving 72,000 shillings if she continues to use Livia app. So yes, to answer your question, mm -hmm. definitely there's huge savings to be made by using the Livia app. So really, does this eventually tie into the price of medicine? Because at the end of the day, you might have a very brilliant application, but the cost of the product is still locking out many people. Will it eventually star up competition? Well, competition is good for the market. And it is because of competition that prices can be managed and controlled. Yeah. So if the app brings about the ethical competition that leads to the benefits of the user and it, it leads to improved health care, then definitely it is something that we will welcome. All right. And uh, as we wrap up this conversation, um, looking at countries that uh, Kenya is also... Look, sorry, looking at East Africa, Kenya is sort of on the forefront of releasing the latest technologies. And as a company, where do you see this product going, especially now that we are becoming a more uh, globalized uh, sort of arrangement across East Africa and also Africa in general? Well, the beauty about our great country, Kenya, is that it is uh, technology friendly. 
and it is relatively easy to start a technology business mm -hmm. and I think it's a blessing that we can do that. Yeah. Our idea is once we've reached a sufficient amount of users within Kenya, we want to expand into the East African countries, mm -hmm. namely Uganda, Rwanda and Tanzania and also in the West African countries, in particular Nigeria and Ghana. All right. So we're looking at a time span of about six months to do so. Mm -hmm. And what's your return on investment? What's your timeline? Our Kenya. time, well, you know, any, um, any business that uh, is thought out well takes time to get your investment back. I would say a good business, if you can get your investment back in five years, uh, I would say that was a good business. And, we had, and that is how we have uh, projected our return on investment. All right. Well, many thanks.